What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome to another NASCAR Diecast review on my YouTube channel, the first one of 2020. And it's going to be on my favorite driver in NASCAR, and this is actually a late Christmas present that I got from from uh, one of my good buddies. Uh, his name is Caleb, and I must say, this diecast right here is pretty damn cool. And thanks to him, I didn't have to pay, I didn't have to pay nine bucks for this thing, so yay! <laughs> That's a power of friendship right there, man. Gotta love it, but do appreciate it if you're watching this, Caleb. Um, this is gonna be a great addition along with my collection, and it's gonna be on Martin Truex Jr.'s 2019 500th Cup Start in the Auto Owners Insurance Paint Scheme for Joe Gibbs Racing in the Toyota Camry. So, this diecast is a very cool looking car that he ran at the second Michigan race. That's uh, And uh, he, he ran pretty well in this race, even though he started in the rear, but we'll probably get into more information about that in a second, guys, as there's 360 view of the box and the standard issue and the standard licensings that we got right there. But without further ado, enough of me just talking away. Let's go ahead and unbox this car and get a close look at the 500th start car form MTJ. Alrighty guys, we got the diecast out of its box and my god, this is such a simple paint scheme, but I must say, the teal on this car is absolutely beautiful. My, I mean, it's basically, uh, it's like the autos, what the hell just happened right here? Looks like we got a nice little paint chip right there or something by the splitter, from what it looks like. Yikes. Ugh. I don't know. Wow, uh, that's some great line of quality right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, wow. That's a uh, pretty bad. So already off to a interesting start with the Lionel NASCAR diecast reviews. But then again, I just said that word right there, Lionel. So you are expecting some flaws in this review, whether you like it or not. <laughs> but no. Um. Anyways, guys. Uh, before that little distraction came in, the. Oh, God, look at that window, guys. The window's sticking out, and it's loose. We got a loose window, and it's sticking out. Oh, man. $9 quality, man. Then again, I'm glad I had to, I, I had to buy this. This was a gift, but hey. <laughs> it's a cool gift, but man, I wish Lionel's quality would be f fucking better than this. But hey, you know, you can only ask for so much in this world, am I right? But anyways, enough of me getting so distracted over this beautiful-looking car. I mean... Yeah, if only the quality was a lot more better, guys, but that's what we're known for now. Um, this is such a great-looking diecast, guys. I mean, we usually don't get that much teal diecasts, uh, like my friend uh, Diecast Buffet, Garrett, said. Um, I don't know. We usually don't see the, the, any teal diecast um, anymore, guys, so it's really refreshing to have this on here. And more importantly, guys, I mean, this is just... It's such a simple-looking paint team, guys, but it works so well, guys. I mean, yeah, I was not a big fan of the NASCAR Heat 4 logo being right there, but, you know, it doesn't look too bad. doesn't look too bad at all, guys. And um, this is definitely a great die-cast to get if you are a big Marjorie Extruder fan, like myself, because, um, well, first of all, 500th Cup start, that is a really nice milestone. I mean, if you guys just... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, my God, you want to talk about one of the greatest comebacks uh, for, uh, for 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 a driver's history? I mean, this one right here, MTJ, man, Mark Trex Jr., I mean, th this guy has had so many ups and downs. <laughs> and what he was able to pull off throughout the last few years, man, just makes me just so grateful to have him as, as a fan in NASCAR. Just my God, guys. I've been following this guy since he first drove for Chance 2 Motorsports, and I was a big Dale Jr. fan back then. And luckily, him and Dale Jr. are good friends, so that kind of cor uh, correlates very well with that. So, but yeah, guys, so many people underestimated him, and a lot of people are already underestimating him that he's not going to do well this season because of Cole Pern's retirement and um, what James Smalls could be his uh, crew chief now. I still got a feeling, I mean, he's still in Joe Gibbs Racing Equipment. Yeah, the, it's going to be interesting with the new crew chief because sometimes that does change. <laughs> oh, man, for the best or the worst. But, you know, I still got good faith in this team. I feel like this 19 car will go out and hopefully get that second championship. I mean, they were really close. <laughs> the Rowdy fans got lucky on that one. But back to this diecast, guys. I mean, just such a cool-looking car. Um, he actually... Uh, uh, the, the, this car he ran at the uh, the second Michigan race, and uh, I believe he started in the back. I believe because uh, he failed post race inspection twice. I believe, well, pre race inspection, not post race. God, I need to know my grammar and terminology better, Brian. Well, 
that's what you guys like about me. I'm just a little uh, derpy sometimes, so. <laughs> but, um, no, was that a spec right there or a paint chip? Well, we got some air bubbles right there. God, look at that decal wrapping. Hey. <laughs> um, oh, God, even the American Ethel logo is, like, cut off. It's like, zoop. But, um, my God, I'm just getting so distracted with all these flaws, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is why I'm not good with storytelling. Like, if you guys want to hear stories, like, go to my pal Rob, all right? Race to 12. That fucker can tell stories like it is. For me, I, I'll, I'll get so distracted <laughs> from the slightest thing ever. Like, there, there could be, like, a crack in my wall, and I'd be like, oh, crap, what the hell I just talked about? I got distracted from that. So, <laughs> oh, man, but... Um, yeah, I was back to talk about this car, guys, that he, he, uh, he started way in the back and got up to the front really quickly, won stage one and almost, uh, got stage two, but I think finished second. And then, uh, once the last stage happened, guys, I mean, Truex, uh, didn't really have the best car. It looked like, uh, Logano and, uh, it looks like the Fords were running really strong. I mean, heck, even Suarez got a top five from what I remember, um, yeah, I believe it was Harvick, Logano, Larson, Truex, and Suarez. That was your top five at the end of the race. So, um, you know, Truex was competitive in this car. So, you know, it was, uh, <laughs> it's really cool. You know, we got most of his diecast stuff from, uh, I mean, my God, I mean, this year, man, I mean, well, last year for 2019, we've had a lot of great 19 diecast. And um, do I think this car is going to make it in NASCAR Athletics? I don't know, but that'd be really freaking cool because we usually don't have a commemorative start car ever in NASCAR Athletics. But now to get on to the side-by-side -side comparison, guys, we're going to be reviewing the auto owner's car, which already has a lot of uh, decal flaws as well. So, <laughs> but at least the front looks somewhat better. Somewhat. I mean, both have their flaws. But it's basically the auto owner's paint scheme, but in a much more different way. I mean, there's a lot more going on on the original auto owner's scheme. But um, I don't know, guys. I, I still like both, but I don't know, guys. I mean, the 500 star car... The stuff that about it that I just really like. I mean, on camera, it looks really cool. But even in person, guys, I mean, just the teal and the black. I mean, simplicity really does work. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love both cars, but it just looks so much more refreshing. And speaking of that, guys, look at those. Two, and we got the updated Toyota logo right there that they also updated on their uh, on the driver's suits. So that's a nice little detail right there. 500 start logo also right there and we got the name banners with the black interiors because these are the gold series and not nascar authentics which lack those two features and this is a side side comparison of the other side and at least this one doesn't have a loose window compared to this crap but hey whatever and look at all those race winner stickers my god gotta love that so ratings guys i must say this die cast really nice it really kicks ass uh Definitely a perfect 10 out of 10. I know that sounds really cliched, but it's a nice looking car. I think it's even better looking than the auto owner scheme, to be honest with you. It's a shame. He could have won this paint scheme and it would have looked a lot more nicer. But for a, cleaned, uh, for, for a cleaned up car, this car does look really nice. So I do encourage you guys to go in and get this diecast at your local diecast dealers. Or more importantly, <laughs> at Plan B Sales or K-State Diecast. Um... And less just diecast that they still have 2019 diecast. I haven't ordered from them in a while. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this diecast review of the MTJ, the GOAT, Mark Strux Jr. in the number 19 Auto Owners Insurance 500 start car for Joe Gibbs Racing. And this is, um, that's going to be it, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. And I will see you guys on another NASCAR diecast video.